And they're off for the inaugural running of the Commonwealth Cup. Tondu and Elval, well a couple of the slowest to come from the stalls. Tiggy Wiggy in a red jacket got away well with the grey cyclogenesis. Gokken down the centre is leading home of the brave. New Providence, Hootenanny and the purple and white chasing them from Salt Island and Pastoral Girl. Arde with a strike cap is in mid-division from Anthem, Alexander and then Muhara and Cool Company. A profitable in a sheepskin noseband is tracking them. Arlan Amarati's on the extreme right following Jungle Cat. Limato, meanwhile, is towards the rear of the field with Tondu and Elval as they already move down past the halfway point. And it's Gokken who leaves from home of the brave in the blue and orange. Cyclogenesis being pushed along. Anthem Alexander in the dark blue and white is improving. Moore gets to work on Hootenanny. Limato is making ground. Far side, Salt Island is picking up with Muhara. On down towards the last furlong and a half they come. Limato beginning up thrust down the near side with Prop Muhara on the far side. Muhara has the overall advantage from Lemato. Profitable and Anthem Alexander. Muhara, though, is streaking away and wins the Commonwealth Cup in great style from Lemato. They're off. Don Juan triumphant, restless. The light blue, he missed it a little bit, but Log Out Island was the first one to get away from the gates. Orange sleeve jacket of Catchy runs in second position. They're two lengths ahead already uh, from Washington, D.C., Larry Yocker and Illuminate in the green and yellow jacket. Quiet reflection in yellow and white is one length behind those. So she's halfway down the field as they're going fast in front here. Catchy the orange sleeves uh, towards the left. Shake L Jackie in the yellow is one from the left. The blue colors of Log Guide Island down the centre from Don Juan Triumphant, the light blue, who's making ground nearest to us, and then Larry Yocker in Washington, D.C. And then comes Quiet Reflection, and with those Illuminate, and then uh, Dream Juban at the rear of the field. They've only got two furlongs to go. Catchy in front with the orange sleeve jacket to Washington, D.C. Quiet Reflection trying to make progress. Don Juan Triumphant is there as well. Catchy is running around in front, comes towards the near side. Washington, D.C. down the centre of the Dark blue, here's quiet reflection now. The yellow and white storming down. The catch in the near side rails, the blue jacket watching the DC. Quiet reflection comes over to the pair of them as they race towards the line. Quiet reflection, she did it, she won. Second place is tied between Catchy and Washington DC and a wall of a back for fourth place. And they're off away, ready to sprint over six furlongs. Very fast into stride was Harry Angel from Bound for Nowhere. And on the far side in the pink jacket is Intelligence Cross. Yalta going forward as well. It is marvellous behind these in the white cap is Blue Point. Then Caravaggio on the far side of Legendary Lunch, followed by Straight Right. At the back is Mr. Scarlet. Second last is a Victory Angel. And also towards the rear is Visionary. They've gone far side here through the first quarter mile. Harry Angel going very strong strongly from Intelligence Cross on the right in the Silver Silks is Yalta. They are trapped by Tis Marvellous. Blue Point getting a bit closer. Legendary Lunch, Caravaggio in amongst them as they race on now inside the final two and a half furlongs in the Commonwealth Cup. Harry Angel has made it all so far. Trapped by Blue Point looking dangerous. Ryan Moore beginning to ask Caravaggio to pick up and not instantly as they race inside the final furlong and a half. Godolphin dominating. Caravaggio moves into third. Blue Point is challenging Harry Angel inside the final furlong. Harry Angel and Blue Point, but Caravaggio is now really beginning to pick up on the far side and comes to claim the pair of them. Caravaggio has worn down the Godolphin Bear and wins the Commonwealth Cup. In second, it was Harry Angel clinging on from Blue Point. They're off and racing away. Main Desire missed the kick on the far side. Sands of Marley on the extreme right going forward. So too Gidu and Fleet Review and Fighting Iris. They're chased by Roussel, unfortunately, is badly outpaced. Uh, down the centre of the track, Abel Handy is just about the leader there, followed by Emblazoned. And also Equilateral in the pink cap. On the left in the noseband is Hay Jonesy. They're followed then by uh, Engesart. And uh, on the right is Invincible Army. Sioux Nation is tracking them in blue and orange. Then speaking colours, now you're talking behind runners, just chasing the leader's heartache and also N Ektidar as well on the far side, Main Desire then Card Sharp, Laugh a Minute, an actress at the tail of the field, they're heading now towards the final quarter of a mile uh, meanwhile on the stand side, Gidu from Fleet Review, Sands of Marley and then after these fighting Irish, unfortunately well behind early, begins to pick up and then Roussel, a furlong and a half from the finish, out in the centre, emblazoned coming through under Frankie Dottori who 
they're now being challenged by Ektidar. Ektidar and emblazoned. Hey Jonesy, far side. Stone of Destiny down the near side. Sands of Marley coming through strongly. Emblazoned, hampered by Ektidar, who's drifting across the track. But Ektidar held on to win the Commonwealth Cup. And they're off. Hello, Humes, they missed it slightly. Out well, Royal Intervention on the far side with the white blaze, 10 sovereigns handy. Going forward is the grey forever in dreams. Conchek on the far side now in the red and white jacket, 10 sovereigns back to fourth from Rumble in the jungle on the near side. Appetise on the far side, white jacket. Then Jash in the blue and white striped cap from Hello, Humes, Ain and Cardem at the back of the field as they cover the first quarter mile. Royal Intervention by a half length to forever in dreams. Conchek behind these. They're followed by 10 sovereigns. Away to the far side on the left is Advertise tracking the leaders. Rumble in the jungle in the black and grey jacket. Jash is making headway on the right. Hello Yumzane in the noseband and finally Cardem. He gets to work on the favourite here, 10 sovereigns. Ryan Moore, he's asking for more. His Royal Intervention forever in dreams. Advertise unleashing a run. Then 10 sovereigns and hello Yumzane in the noseband. The favourite's in trouble. Advertise from forever in dreams. 10 sovereigns switching. Hello Yumzane Zane down the near side. It's Frankie de Tori again at Royal Asgard. This time it's on Advertise in the Commonwealth Cup and Advertise sticks it out and wins. And Frankie salutes the crowd again. Tight second forever in dreams on the far side of Hallo Yumzane. Six furlongs, group one action. Uh, Kamari was not that quickly into stride. Mums Tipple, the opposite, fast away, far side from Abarama Gold. Uh, blazing the trail down the near side, Golden Horde, ahead of Southern Hills as they race quickly through the first furlong and spreading across the track with prominent also Royal Lytham who's uh, tracked by Mill Isle and then Lopay Fernandez in a purple cap, the yellow jacketed Pierre Lapin, Dubai station towards the rear is Les Oak. On the stand side group Golden Horde with Southern Hills and then Kamari who's recovering from a slightly slow start back in the field to Royal Commando, Royal Crusade, Chardon is pulled out in the black sleeves and then behind these Ventura Rebel and Pistoletto running down towards the final two furlongs now. Mums Tipple is the overall leader. Golden Horde on the near side. Coming through his Royal Crusade with Kamari, Chardon, Ventura, Rebel, and behind these then is Royal Lytham as they race on now towards the final furlong. Golden Horde doing best now on the near side from Kamari. Is Golden Horde by three quarters of a length to Kamari, launching a big challenge. They're chased by Ventura, Rebel, and Royal Crusade and Royal Commando, but Golden Horde is going to see them off in grand style to win the Commonwealth Cup. From Kamari in second, Ventura, Rebel through for third, just ahead of Royal Commando. And a pretty level and mighty Gurkha showing speed. Munister on the far side. Capanelli on the near side under Frankie de Tori. Take it up readily in the early stages. Followed by a case of you and Jumbi is close up as well. Mighty Gurkha accelerating again on the far side of Campanelli. On the near side, Dragon Symbol is right there as well. And then uh, behind these is Swayza, very handy indeed. Uh, they're trapped by Isabella Giles and Lippet Zana. Dan Dalla towards the stand side. And in behind those measures, of magic on the far side happy romance uh, being driven along is 5,000 to 1 out the back the Lear jet at this stage and laws of indices as they race down the center to stand side and it's mighty Gurkha and Campanelli uh, on the near side a case of you with every chance with dragon symbol coming there Swayza being pushed along as well then Moon Easter on the far side happy romance and 5,000 to 1 and dragon symbol has come through to take it up from Campanelli is trying to fight back as they race on now towards the final Final furlong, they're drifting across to the far side. Dragon Symbol and Campanelli, they have it between them. Dragon Symbol on the near side, on the far side, Campanelli trying to repeat last year's Queen Mary win. She's digging deep. Campanelli and Dragon Symbol, they pass the post together in the Commonwealth Cup. They're off for the Group 1 Commonwealth Cup. Six furlongs ahead of them. They came out to a, a pretty good line. Perfect power over towards the far side. Yellow Jacket just a little off the gallop at this stage. Among those showing early speed, floaters down the centre with their black sleeves. Tiber of Flow is just in behind the leaders. Flaming Ribbon, a dark blue jacket down the near side. The right-hand side gives us up in the blue headgear over on the far side. Go Bears go in the violet silk showing speed at the end of two furlongs. Gives us up in the blue headgear. Gives the lead to Flaming Ribbon. Lotus down the centre.
left, a twilight jet and a white jacket. On the left, go bears go in the violet extreme left, pink cap, sacred bridge from Wings of War. Being followed by Miramar and Perfect Power in the yellow, Eras is towards the extreme left with a striped cap, Hala Hala Rathmani towards the rear. Down towards the extreme right, El Caballo is about two or three lengths off with the pink sleeves. They're heading on down towards the last furlong and a half in the Commonwealth Cup and it's Floatus, the striped cap, challenged by Flaming Rib in the dark blue, Perfect Power and Eras are towards the inside. Calamosto bursting through in the purple and white Twilight Jet and Tiber Flow are in behind. Perfect power now beginning to close down on the far side, wearing them down into the shadows of the post. And perfect power, a perfect performance to win the Commonwealth Cup.